Hello everyone, we hope you're well. Today, we're gonna make red pepper soup. Now, I think there's various ways of making it. We're just making it the way we think it'll be nice. But <laughs> we're doing it in the pressure cooker. Um, Wendy's gone a bit crazy. I don't know whether you can see there, look, we've bought fresh cream to drizzle on the top. I don't know. Or a lifestyle, eh? Anyway. You're a bit far away, but I wanted to get the pressure cooker in this shot. I'll, I'll take you a little bit closer and show you. Right, there we go, we're a bit nearer. And we're using two bell peppers there, as you see. Uh, a bit of black pepper, obviously we've got that fresh cream. And now we're gonna stick a quarter of a cup, which is that little lovely cup of mine. We're gonna use that for our cream, because we want this for the two of us. We're not feeding the 5,000. <laughs> We're going to have a like half a spoon of the lazy garlic, one onion, and we're using a tablespoon, or we're using clove and margarine, look. And as usual, which is out the shot at the minute, let me put that there. We're going to be using 400 millilitres of stock, and I'm putting two stock cubes in. Mate, there's no expense spared on this channel, really going for it. <laughs> you can see the croutons there. Wendy's cut them, she's going to mix them up while I'm messing about with the soup. And it is messing about, isn't it? Uh, they're great. We keep having these homemade croutons. I I've got to be honest, Wendy used to buy me croutons. I used to take soup to work and I used to think, oh God, these croutons, mate, I can't get enough of them. These homemade ones, if you've not tried it, they're just not the same. These are fabulous. You know, you're only looking at four or five minutes cooking in the air fryer. And really, they're so much better. But again, you can have them soft, you can have them hot, you can do them as you like. They're great. Mate, this is supposed to be about the soup, isn't it? And here I'm waffling on about croutons. Anyway, let's get some of this stuff sorted out. Because that, that's what we're having. I mean, we're, I've told you what we've got and this is what we're doing. So I'll get it all ready and I'll bring you back. Right. Let's get these peppers cut up with my Spencer knife. Right, here we go. Well, there's the ingredients. Onion chopped, pepper chopped. You've got your t uh, tablespoon there of, well, we've got margarine. There's your garlic, look, at the front. And there's your black pepper. And... Uh, Two stock cues, mate, in 400 mil. This is gonna be nice. Right, now it's just a case of uh, getting it all in. Let's get this margarine in first. Get the onion in. And the pepper. No, one thing with these peppers, when you've chopped them up, it doesn't look very much. But as I say, this is only for two of us. In goes the garlic. A couple of turns on the black pepper. And then it's in with the stock. Right, and it'll be lid on. Let me just get the lid. Right, let's get this unit plugged in. There we go. Let's get the lid on. Orange dots. Orange dots, Graham, remember. Right, we're going on pressure cook. And I'm sure these are so soft. I'm sure five minutes is going to be plenty. Oh, hang on, we're still miles away. Come on. What have I done here? Mate, I'm useless with the buttons, Lewis. I need some help, mate. <laughs> right. Five minutes we want. Hey, are we somewhere close now? Now, we're not going to need to keep warm. We won't want that. We'll just pressure cook. Um... Off we go, mate. Let it reach pressure and uh, 
I'll tell you what we will do before I do this. Let's just pause this. Can I pause this? What we're going to do, let's get that meter plugged in. Let me go and get it and set it up. I'm a terror for forgetting. Come on. Now I'll show you again. Press function, it comes on. Cost. Old cost, it says five seconds, but it starts to flash. Function. 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 We're going to put 30 pence in there, look. I hope that's in the camera. In fact, I'm sure it is. Now that is set to 30 pence a unit. Let's get this plugged in. Right, now we're off. <laughs> Let's start again. We're going on pressure cook. Five minutes, it's set to five minutes. We don't want to keep warm. Let's press start. Off we go. Right, now while that's sorting itself out, we've just got to do the croutons. Right, I thought I'd just show you. There's the croutons when he's got them ready. I may as well show you, aren't I? And all we're going to do, look, that's 2.05, 20 minutes on air fryer. All we'll redu do is reduce the time down. Make that five minutes. Oh, God, it's gone mad again, Graham. <laughs> Right, we'll do them for five minutes because they're a little bit crunchier than we've noticed. Not much, but come on. No preheat, mate. Let's get straight on it. Oh, there we go. Right, we'll bring you back in five minutes. And you can hear a beep in there. And the beeping is... <laughs> the soup's ready. Mate, I'm falling about, washing up, messing them out, but we're not ready. We'll just let that uh, stay as it is, that's no problem. And then all I've got to do is whiz it up and uh, dish it out. Can you actually see the meter at the back? Look, that's cost to cook that soup. It's cost 30 pounds. Is that correct? Mate, even I can't see. That's no way, that's 30 pence. Oh, you fall down, press the button. I'm going to say, that's madness. <laughs> that's more like it. <laughs> it's cost three. <laughs> I nearly had a cardiac then. Mate, I'm, right. I'm an idiot. That's cost three P. Can you see it says it's cost three pence to cook? Let's, um... yeah, use point one of a kilowatt. So it's cost three pence. Mate, I'm thinking about so many things there all being really dumb, weren't I? Anyway, it's cost three pence to cook that soup. Mate, you can't beat that. I'll bring you back. Right, I've just brought you back. We'll release the pressure. What little pressure there is left. I mean, that's just sat there for a few minutes while we were waiting for the croutons. Well, it's dropped down already. Now we've not actually had this soup before, so this is all a little bit of guesswork in here. Let's have a look at that. Let me show you before, uh, that's what it looks like, look. Now I'm gonna whiz this up now and uh, I'll bring you back. Right, now I've just whizzed this up. It's very, very thin, this is. We prefer a little bit thicker soup. Now, there's the quarter of a cup of cream has gone in. Let's get this mixed in, see if it makes any difference. Uh, this is going to be very runny soup. I don't think this is going to suit us, but we'll carry on. Right, we'll bring you back when we dish up. Right, let's get this soup dished up. Here we go. Now, <laughs> this looks a strange colour to us. Look at that, Wendy's only got half a spoon there. There we go. Now this is definitely a runnier soup than we'd normally have. Definitely. But, come on, let's taste it, see what it's like. Do these look about even bowls? Tell you what. I do now. 
<laughs> right, so that's what this soup looks like. Now we're having a few croutons on here, actually. We better show you with some of these on. It always looks better, don't it? Especially for the picture at the end. That's it, Wendy's going to drop some in. <laughs> There's not much... Uh... <laughs> Flop. <laughs> this is very thin soup. Mate, look uh... at that. That's tight with the croutons. This is just for the picture. Come on. Right, let's have a taste of this soup. See what it's like. It's very runny. Well, it's tasty. Oh, that's quite nice. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> this is all right. Mm. Mm. It's not thick. It's nice. But who says it should be thick? That's mm. all right. That's really nice. Mm. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, because I'm going to go and eat this, mate. I'm not messing about no more. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe oh, and share. <laughs> hey, oh, there we go. Hey, this is more like... Hey, look. Wendy says, oh, don't know as I like this. Well, it's gone, hasn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you what. So I'll take mine out of the picture as well. Come on, Graham, don't mess about. Yeah, so if you've enjoyed the video, did I say please? Oh, I did. I said it, mate. Come on. Now look after yourselves and we'll see you all soon. And I'm going to go and enjoy my soup now. So, bye. Well, I've just brought you back to see what we can say about that soup. I will say one thing. Look at that. You can see the gates perfectly now without me guessing and squinting, you fool. It costs 3p to cook that soup. Fantastic. It takes some beating that wood. That's really good. Now, as for the soup, it looked very thin and watery, but it, it was really tasty. I enjoyed that. It was nice. I think the trouble with me is I love vegetable soup. I can't get enough. Leek and potato, it's got to be my favourite. Carrot and coriander and chicken soup. Oh, oh mate, there's, a, there's an endless list, isn't there? This is more of a... It was a lot more runny, and but I'm sure this is how it would be. I mean, it's... it's can you put potatoes in it? Would that thicken it up? I think all the trouble is I do like a thicker soup. But that tasted fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You'd have to try it yourself and see what you think. Right, we're really going this time. So look after yourselves. Bye.